Hello, this is not a spring chicken. I'm out at the, out, can you believe this? I'm out at the beach for Thanksgiving weekend with Old Cam, and we're here talking about Black Friday because, of course, we cannot resist. We're in the news business, and we've been out checking out the malls for Black Friday just to observe and see what we see here in Southern California. So, what did we see? <laughs> we saw a lot Lots of, of packed malls. Lots of packed malls. Oh, actually, no availability of parking spots. We had to drive around and around and around and around. Yeah, but we also saw that there are the cars basically were not full because uh, the malls we went into, you could hear sound reverberating off of walls in a mall from people performing music. You can't do that in a full mall because the people, the bodies absorb sound, which therefore means that while they were saying that the malls were really packed, the malls were only packed with maybe one to two people per automobile that was clogging up the drive, clogging up the parking garages, folks. Well, yeah, I mean, in, I think part of it is that there's only so much parking space because we went on Black Friday. Yeah. We couldn't resist, okay? We went to several different malls. One that was a mall, standalone stores, etc. We went starting then, just around the night. Go ahead and take a look and see. And one of the ones, all of the all of the parking was taken up at the mall, and people were parking across the street. Yep. And then we went to a mall where the stores were all uh, individual, all closed, all closed and individual. Except for one. I mean, there, there, that was uh, Best Buy. Best Buy, and okay, Best Buy. Unlike the Best Buy, the other Best Buys, the standalone store was letting everybody in, which was the whole purpose of Black Friday. But well, that, and then the other one we went to, there was a Target and a, and a Best Buy, and they were letting a few people in at a time. And they were only buying the sales items. That's all they were buying. If it was, you know, lots of... We saw lots of TVs going out. Yeah, lots of TVs going out. But Big that, TVs. Yeah. Well, but, actually, probably like 42, 46, 50. Yeah, but they... Just they, enough to fit in their own shopping cart. They said that clothes were a really big deal on Black Friday. Well, yeah, but you couldn't try them on, folks. And you, you know, you couldn't well, try actually, the shoes on. You couldn't try the clothes. We found some good deals. Boy, yeah. we were at Macy's, and they found yeah. some really good deals on the boots. Yeah. And so I told one of the ladies, she was in line. I said, well, "What did you get?" I said, "A box of boots." She had six boxes of boots. And hadn't tried a single one of them on. And uh, we, we did and see... And Old Navy was open on Thanksgiving Day, which was packed. I know I had relatives that went in there and they said, well, you know, one person came in line, the other people walked all over the store, tried clothes on, came in, and this was in the morning Thanksgiving Day, they were already packed. Yeah, but at night they weren't, there was no line at the Old Navy at that, but we went, uh, you know, like we went into the uh, Best Buy the, where we could get into the store, actually, and... It was just, okay, we'll put it this way. We went to Best Buy uh, Saturday at a reasonable hour. And no, that was Friday. That was Friday, was Friday at a reasonable yeah, hour. our days get mixed up. One was Black Friday. <laughs> the and day's Friday. only Sunday. The next one was 12 hours later, Black Friday. And on Friday. And, Friday. and basically, people were buying the same things that they were taking out of the store at 1 o'clock in the morning. So. Well, the difference was we, when we first went to the, the early one, the lines were so long that, well, let's just say we didn't buy any of the things that we wanted. But for those of you that shopped online, yeah. well, here's the good part about shopping online. If you're there early enough, is you didn't have to fight the crowds. Yeah, but they also ran out of stuff online real quickly. Yeah. So, the but the, 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 it wasn't the Best Buy where we went to was that crowded. The lines were, the people, they were either buying or leaving. That was the way it was, you know. Well, yeah, that one Best Buy. The other Best Buy, well, part of it was for, for holiday weekend, we had three Best Buys. Yeah. The first one that I went by was Thanksgiving night. Yeah. And we had seen at that Best Buy that um, on Tuesday, people had started um, parking themselves outside the Best Buy to get the first in line. Yeah. So uh, I saw the line around the store. Thanksgiving night, and this was a few hours before the Thanksgiving. Yeah, so, but uh, we did go to our third Best Buy in the same 12-hour period, though, <laughs> and we picked up everything that was basically on the shopping list except for a tablet. Oh, well, no, that was after 12 hours. No, uh, 12 hours later. 12 yeah, hours yeah. later. You know, about oh, and there. then the other thing that I wanted was a, a 
three terabyte hard drive, which sold out really fast online. They, they actually were just an online thing, which they only and one for a customer. They, they don't so. have that many in, in the stores. Well, yeah, they're only having one customer because it's plenty of highlights. Yeah. So expect the prices to go up on hard drives. Yeah, we, we were told, we were told by one of the manufacturers of hard drives to expect the prices to go up because it's of all the stupid things. The, it's not the hard drive, it's the stupid, it is the silicon thing that they make the, that the hard drive actually is. The parts are, parts are available everywhere, but the materials they make the actual, um, like the silicon part, basically comes from Thailand of all things. So don't look for that stuff to go down anytime in the near future. The mines are flooded. So, but um, we did though, and then uh, we also went out we went out to a shopping mall. I we went to, what was it, uh, yesterday afternoon to one of the bigger malls in Santa Monica. Yeah. And wow, the mall had a, a lot of people in it. You know, trying to find parking was fun. We had to go around the block several times. Yeah, actually, we did have to go around the block a couple times. Because we thought about going into McDonald's to go, you know, go order something to eat and then go across the street where they had, they had garage parking. <laughs> the only problem is they shut off the means to get into the garage from the one side of the street. So you you had to go, you couldn't get in except by going down the street, turning around and coming back and making a turn, a right turn into the park. No left turns were allowed. But uh, we finally managed to get in. The police, op the police weren't controlling the thing, not the, the mall people. They were deciding what you could go yeah, in. Actually, that was one of the things this year. We've seen more police than we ever have. Um, somebody told me to police out what was the best Yeah. But we did go into uh, we did go into some of the more extra, more exclusive stores, and their idea of forty and fifty percent off was oh only going to be four or five hundred dollars you were paying them. But it was still forty percent off. I know. Yeah, we didn't. So we went into a, we went into another store like we we generally go into to hunt for things off the rack for. Right. We love you, Bloomingdale. Yeah, I know. Well, I mean, we have bought some things there when they really had sales. You know, but you had forty percent off of a hundred percent too much is still too much. But went into another store, which basically we we shopped their their uh, their discounted. They only had two discounted racks, and we shopped them and came out with three out came out with uh, two outfits and a black slip, mm -hmm. which was really a big deal. Well, she one of them was an evening outfit, and she wore it last night already, Fox. So. I know. You know, well, you find places all over. In fact, today we're going shopping again. I know. We're like, no, we do want to do other things other than shopping, but part of it is, is we're, we're checking out all the shopping. Yeah. And we're going to Walmart. We're going to the Walmart. Yeah. And everybody has. We can't tell you what's going on unless we go into the stores. There's, um, yeah, and the good part is, is there was merchandise for people to buy. Yeah, some, they. Some years, there wasn't really that much merchandise. Okay. What happened is, I think, okay. The, it is not that people have any more money to spend. What it is, is oh, looky, doggy on the beach where doggies are not supposed to be. That will attract a lifeguard. Doggy in the water too. The lifeguards will get pissed off about that. They do not. They get. They, they give us. Uh, they arrested a couple of people last week for doing that. Remember? Yeah. I mean, they got. I think they mouthed off to the people about it. But um, not lifeguards. But um, we. We also discovered that Cyber Monday sucks. Well, actually, you know what? I think, do they sell this stuff already? Because usually yeah. Cyber Monday used to be a big deal. Oh, yeah, and there was Small Business Saturday. Yeah, and a president of the United States went into a small business. Which he totally, they they, uh, they they said he got, he did his pissed off stare look again when somebody said he was the most, uh, oh, here comes our lifeguard again running down the beach. It's that time of day. We, we've been here, we do this so much we can tell where who people are and when they're running out of beach. But they said that he is the most small business unfriendly president in the history of this nation going into a small business on Small Business Saturday. I mean, there's somebody I would just scare about there flying across oh, the water. Does it look good? I know. Look how fast that one's going. I know. It'd be great. We can see more boats out for the weekend. Yeah, they're not. Which, uh, because what it is, it costs money for the boats to go out and people don't have any money. Okay. Here is your 1%, folks. You do not see your 1% anywhere out there off this beach. And right over, uh, right to our right is Marina Del Rey where they park their boats. The wealthy don't have any money. So, but uh, like I was talking about, I think the reason why sales may have been up this year 
if they were up in any, was because of inventory on the shelves. And that will make a difference, so. Yeah, and I, and I do think the shelves could have, could have been better if more people were allowed in the stores. I understand that the fire marshal may have more. I know, but you've got the object. The object is you have to have uh, people, the uh, black, the cells are, the, the, you know, we got 10 items uh, in a store. Well, they want to get people in the store to look at other items. And if you don't have anything that they want to buy, then they're not, you know, well, or if you don't let them in the store, you don't let them in the store so they'll walk away. That's what we did on Friday morning. So we bought, or, or she, okay. Actually, we walked away from a lot of stores because the line was too freaking long. Yeah, we had clothes that we had. When I say too long, it looks like it was at least a, at least an hour. Yeah, in a line. Before you were able to get checked out. Yep, and and what happened was, is what we didn't know, they were, uh, you know, their people were, because you couldn't get into the dressing rooms, they were just buying whatever. Um, was on the shelf and they're going because no those are for women that don't know how to shop yeah. for black friday because if you need to try something on you first to wear something that you can I know body suits. To wait for the room. I know, but most people don't know how to shop black friday even oh. though you've told them how to do it for the last three years but, but um so we uh but it, it just I do not see, I mean, okay, last year was a record year for Black Friday, and then about a week later they revised it downward. I have a suspicion that that opening up an extra five to seven hours didn't appreciatively make that much of a difference, so. You know, as a retailer, if one of your competitors open early, yeah. if you don't open early too, you may potentially have a huge impact on your retail sales. I know, but if it costs you more money to be open than you make. Yeah. Yeah, because we do know that Macy's wasn't intending to be open when Macy's was open, plus the fact that they needed to get through the doors, so the doors were left wide open, which meant all of that that you know all of the heat was just pumping out like my mother would have said yeah, you know we, you're leading the heat out of the house we, we happened to go to a mall where we thought there were only a couple stores open and then they had changed the sign there was a pajama party with jojo singing yeah so they opened up more of the stores yeah which we were not expecting no, i mean the pennies didn't open until it's regular time a lot of the stores that had five o'clock opening did not open at midnight some of them did some of them didn't but uh the ones that, you know, uh, some of the ones, a lot of the ones that did, did not have lines in front of them. You know, they, one of the parts I thought was interesting, because on Black Friday, there are some stores that are open for 24 hours. Yeah. And, and so, I would have to, on my way back, I have to go into Walmart that was open 24 hours, and there was no line outside, of course. Yeah. But what you had inside, was the items that were the Black Friday sales, yeah. they actually had them wrapped in dark yeah. wrap. Oh, I remember one of those things we actually did want, which was the sewing machine. <laughs> you want to bet that the sewing machine isn't still isn't is still there today? Probably not. Yeah. Walmart was back on Black Friday. So. Yeah, but Walmart. We were there last year for Black Friday, uh, and Walmart didn't have any. There was no uh, nothing in the aisles last year. Remember? Oh, that's true. Yeah. And, and the year before. That, yeah, it's kind of like, it's hard to know about the merchandise on the shelf. I know, this, I love this one, because... I, I know, when I look at that, I'm thinking of Marley and Me. I know. Because remember the movie with Ellen Wilson and Jennifer Aniston where the dog goes in? And yeah, but what she doesn't understand over there is that the guy that didn't have bias is a senior lifeguard. And now he's got her. And I have no idea. No. He's looking at her though, really. Uh, and then he just trotted down beside her. So, I mean, she's dead because he'll go back and she'll get her little butts. And then, see, we got our nuns on the beach coming from the other direction. We were trying to figure out, they were walking by the water a while ago and there was no footprints on the, on the beach, folks. I mean, it could have washed them away, but still. Yeah, isn't that amazing? I know. 
the lifeguard is coming. No sooner than a senior lifeguard runs by the girl, the car cop starts coming. So. They know, and he is coming this direction, so... So oh. anyway, so what should you expect from Black Friday? Well, let's see. Delts will be really high, and then they'll revise it within the next week. Cyber Monday? Well, the sales... Started the Sunday, uh, and some of them are all week long. Well, and you got to keep that sales going on. And don't expect the things that you want, which are the tablets. Yeah, we were expecting more tablets to be okay. What happened was, was they had pulled tablets because we know that some of the stores had uh, two or three times the amount of tablets available online that they ended up with. We did. We have two vehicles going this direction. I, I know. I know. I told you, you know, we knew that. They're, they're not coming to talk to the woman about the dog. They're now going to talk. To the, actually, they come because the nuns are coming, and you know how nuns are. They can, second vehicle, right? maintenance. Yeah, maintenance. They're going to tell her. Uh, yeah, and if she mouths off, she gets arrested. So, but um, no, but um, and don't mouth off the lifeguard. Don't mouth off the lifeguard because you don't have they, they're they're the lifeguards are firemen, and they they're basically licensed to give. In you, L.A. Yeah. I don't know about well, sometimes they're police officers. Sometimes they work for the county. It just depends. But um, you know, I just don't. You know, you have to go, when you go to these stores on, on Cyber, um, on uh, Black Friday or Saturday or Sunday, don't look at uh, how many people in the store. Look at what they're leaving the stores with. Oh, yeah, that's one of the things you always do. And if they're leaving the stores with um, uh, a lot of things, it's really good. But if only one, if, uh, if most people are leaving without anything, and then... Uh, we did notice Sunday is almost a god awful great big busy day out here because uh, you know the, you've, for weeks we've had a problem trying to get into the malls on Sunday and this Sunday you could basically would just like hear a pin drop maybe they're shopped out yeah well uh, here's the bad thing I heard him saying was what if they uh, went out on Cyber Monday and then, I mean, uh, on Black Friday, and didn't have anything left to spend the rest of the month. Yeah, they're wearing shoes too, so they're also they're also got the brown outfits on black. So I think they're black. They're black. They're brown outfits. So you know. What well, does that mean when a nun has a brown? I think it's a novice or something. Training. Yeah, nuns in training. But that's a that is. Uh, Thing and the guy basically turned around, he checked another person, he's coming back. You know, well, they're unhappy with somebody else down there, now they come back, they got to, you know, they got to come back because the nuns, you know that. Mm -hmm. So, well, I mean, you don't want rowdy nuns on your beast, do you? But, no, but, um, I, I, I get disappointed by the press, is what I get disappointed there, you know, the, when they're doing company lines instead of reporting the truth. Well, I, I heard something once said that, well, we have to help the businesses, so we sort of fudge on details. Oh, really? No. I mean, you don't help a business by telling everybody it's doing better than what it is because the banks that own the money are listening to those same reports. And if you're telling a bank, well, we're not, we, you know, we... You know, we, we need to make a deal to reduce our payments because sales aren't good, and then you're being told we have record sales. It makes banks unhappy. So, I know. I like it, I like that. so I guess you got anything else to say about your widow long Cyber Monday report? I mean, Black Friday report. I'm, I'm, I'm no, curious about we'll Cyber Monday. No, but because Cyber Monday's coming, we'll look at the results of that. We'll also be um, talking about. We've been talking about holiday forecasts, and we talk about things that are hot or not hot, but we'll be advising you along the way as to the trends. Right? Yeah, and we'll also tell you about when they revise the figures down there. Yeah, but if you're, li if you're listening to this, we have, what, about a month? We've got, uh, Almost. We've got 20... Four days and about five, but yeah, yeah about it's twenty. Almost a month. Almost. Yeah. As we watch the sales, give you an idea as to whether the pricing will be going 
up and going down. And for those of you, I, I know some other people have watched and they said, you know what, some of those things were cheaper before Black Friday. Uh, yeah. That's uh, we, why I used to we can guarantee you that there was a reporter and his uh, assistant with a miniature camera walking by taking pictures of items that were cheaper before Black Friday than they were on Black Friday. Well, we've seen that before in the past. So yeah. a deal is not always a deal. Yeah. So, I guess until our next report, which will probably be later in the week, or next Saturday again, next Sunday, this is all camera. This is not a spring chicken. We'll yesterday, today, and tomorrow for more information. You can go to www.montybubbles.net on the net, which is getting a, a, a page, the front page is getting changed a little bit tomorrow, so. Yeah, and wherever you're watching, if you like to call our family, thank you once again for over 250 million links on the internet.